Alright, hey guys, um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make an animation and then render it and how to move around the camera and everything, alright? So what I'm first going to do is draw down a plane on the top view, alright? Then I'm going to color that white real fast. Alright, there we go. Now, after that, I'm going to draw a small box. Doesn't really matter what size, like how long or whatever. Just the longer it is, the longer time it'll take to render. Well, no, just animate the whole scene. But do whatever. Alright. Um, I'm also going to add a sphere. Alright, this is what we're going to animate most of the time on this. Alright, look in your viewports, make sure it's on the your ramp that you just made from the box by rotating it down and everything. Now that we have that, I'm gonna just add some color to them. So hit M for material editor if you don't know that already. Alright, then there we go. That's our first setup. Now, we're going to go to cameras, which is 4 over from the geometry tab, and hit target. Alright, look on the front view, click and drag the camera down. All right. Now, if you look in the viewports, you'll see this little blue box right here, alright? You want to get that attached to the sphere, alright? So just like that. Look in both viewports, make sure it's exactly where you want it to. Okay, now that you have that, when you move the camera around, it'll follow the box, or the sphere, which we're going to animate. Now to make it easier, go into the perspective view, which is the bottom right, right click on the word perspective, and go to cameras, camera 01. That's what's going to be capturing during your video, okay? Now that we have that done, we're going to just go down here. Um, as you can see, this is a timeline, okay? I have it 0 to 24. How you edit this timeline, let's go down here. It says time configuration. It's by all the play buttons, next frame, and fast forward buttons, okay? Click on that. It'll come up with this and has all the information on the timeline. The animation is mostly what you're going to be looking at. The start time and the length. The length is how long the frames will go. I'll just put it at 24 right now since I'm going to end my animation at 20. Okay. Um, then on the playback, make the speed one half times. Okay. That'll make it look more realistic. Hit OK. Now that we have that all done, we're going to move the timeline. Oh, before we do that, set auto key. It's right next to the key top of it. All right? Move up two frames. Select this box from the camera and the sphere. Okay, then move that down wherever you want it to. Then move up another two frames. Click on the camera, move it wherever you want to. Doesn't really matter if you move the camera also, it'll just add more to the scene. Alright, and just keep on doing this. Going up two frames each time you move an object. You can move the camera and object at the same time on the same frames. So don't worry about that. Sometimes the box kind of moves away from the sphere, so just take your time on this, alright? Don't really need to make it go by fast because you're just learning it. Now, if I were you, I'd probably do this together with me since I'm probably going at the same speed that you'll go. And you could just look at what I'm doing to check your work. 
Alright. Now that we have my whole animation done. Go up to 20. End it however you want. I usually just like zoom the camera into the ball. But there we go. We have our full animation. If you drag the box which says the numbers, you can play your animation right there. And there you go. That's basically what I want to do. Then go out to rendering. Then go to render setup or hit F10 for a hotkey. In this time output, click on active time segment 0 to 24. If you do single, that's what people usually do, and that only takes renders one frame, which takes a picture, okay? You want to do all frames. After that, scroll down to where it says render output. Click on files that's to the right of save file. Once you have that, click wherever you want to save it. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Name it whatever. All right. Then as safe type, click on an AVI file, which is a video file. Okay. Then hit save. Then it'll come up with this compression setup. Leave all the settings the same. I usually put the quality all the way up to 100. But if you have a slower computer, it might take more time to render. But mine's pretty fast, so it doesn't really matter. Hit OK. Now, before you hit render, check all these information right underneath so it'll say production preset view active shade make sure production is highlighted view make it camera 01 if you do front view then it's only going to do that and it won't really do any of your camera work that you just did leave preset alone don't really need to do any of that then just hit render all right uh, there we go. The more objects you have in the scene, the longer it'll take to render. Alright. But there we go. I just finished rendering. Now, minimize all that. Then it'll save it like I did to my desktop. It's right here. Click on it. Open it. Windows Movie Player, wherever you want it. And then there's your video right there. Alright. You can mess around with like the frames per second and everything. Like if you thought that was too fast or something, click on the time output again. Frame rate, go to custom, and you could make it go to like eight frames per second when it's going twenty four frames, okay? Or five. So I'll just render it and show you guys the difference. So there's five, this is going at five, five frames per second. Render it, I'll just override it. Alright. Yeah, I don't know. Just work around whatever you want to. And again, if you want it, to go slower and smoother, stretch out the timeline and then go up like five frames each time. I was just doing two to make it go faster. All right, but that's basically an easy way to start animation and learn how to render and save as a video. Obviously, you might want to start trying more things like animating a character, or whatever. So, Thanks for watching and I hope this helps you learn how to animate.